In spoken words, cultural differences in gestures. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be focusing on a fascinating aspect of public speaking and presentations, nonverbal communication skills. Within this topic, we will zoom into gestures and, more specifically, explore the theme of cultural differences in gestures. Gestures play a crucial role in communication. They can complement, emphasize, or even replace verbal communication in some cases. But did you know they can mean different things in different cultures? Let's dive in and unravel the mystery behind these in spoken words. Before we delve into cultural differences, it's essential to understand the value of gestures in our communication. Gestures are physical movements or positions that convey a specific message or meaning. They can range from facial expressions, hand signals, and body postures to even the way we use space around us. These nonverbal cues can sometimes express more than words. They can show our emotions, intentions, or reactions, and they can enhance or clarify the meaning of our words. In public speaking, Gestures can help to keep your audience engaged and can assist in emphasizing key points of your speech. So why is it important to be aware of cultural differences in gestures? Imagine you're giving a presentation to an international audience. You want to make a strong, positive impression, but inadvertently you use a hand gesture that is considered offensive in one of the cultures represented in your audience. That could have a negative impact on how your message is received. Understanding these differences is critical in our increasingly globalized world, whether you are speaking to an international audience or learning English as a second language. The same gesture can have vastly different meanings across cultures. Context and cultural sensitivity are crucial when interpreting and using gestures. Let's look at some examples now. The thumbs up gesture, common in the United States and many other countries, generally indicates approval or agreement. However, in some parts of the Middle East, it can be seen as a rude gesture. The OK sign made with the thumb and forefinger is another gesture that can have varying interpretations. While in the US, it signals that everything is all right, in parts of Brazil or Turkey, it's an obscene gesture. The way we use our hands to point also varies. In many Western cultures, it's acceptable to use one finger to point at something or someone. But in many Asian cultures, this is considered rude, and it's more polite to use the whole hand to indicate direction. These are just a few examples, but there are countless more. Always remember, when in doubt, observe and ask. And that's a wrap for today's lesson on cultural differences in gestures. As we've learned, nonverbal communication is not universal. The same gesture can have vastly different meanings in different cultures. It's always wise to familiarize yourself with the cultural norms of your audience, especially when dealing with international audiences. Remember, a good communicator is not just skilled in verbal communication but is also sensitive to nonverbal cues and cultural nuances. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video will help you in your journey of mastering the art of public speaking and presentations. See you in our next lesson.